Hello, this is Uncle Jeff again. We begin with English. Our first topic is parts of speech. You know those things. There are eight of them. There are eight parts of speech, each of which has a specific purpose, a very specific purpose. It must be noted that there is absolutely no word that has a part of speech. It takes a speech from how it is used. Just remember that it takes a speech from use. Remember, look at word swimming, the word swimming. I am swimming. Right there, that's a verb. Swimming is my favorite sport. It's a noun. I am a swimming instructor. It's an adjective. Remember, one word but has different parts of speech depending on how it is used. Let me give you the rules. Let's first start with adverbs, which are words that are used to modify verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. Here's an example. In the sentence, this was a very sad day. The word very modifies the word sad, painting a picture of deeper than normal sadness and is therefore being used as an adverb. Nouns. Nouns are words that are used to identify or name people, places and things. In the sentence, Michael loves to walk to the beach. The words Michael and beach are used to name a person and a place and are therefore used as names or nouns. Verbs are words that are used to express an action or to identify a state. In the sentence, I love my computer as it is. The word love expresses an action while the word is identifies a state. So they're both used as verbs. Adjectives are words that are used to describe nouns or pronouns. In the sentence, I avoid walking the lonely road at night. The word lonely is describing the noun road and is therefore being used as an adjective. Prepositions are words that are used to show a relationship between a noun or pronoun and another word or word group in the same sentence. In the sentence, the children rushed across the busy street. The word across relates to children's action of rushing and the street and is therefore being used as a preposition. Conjunctions are words that are used to join or relate other words, phrases, or sentences. In the sentence, we were tired and hungry. The word and joins or connects the words tired and hungry and is therefore being used as a conjunction. Pronouns are words that are used to stand in place of nouns. In the sentence, he drove his car with much care and attention. The word he stands in place of a person's name. It may be Jeff, it may be John, Mary, and is therefore being used as a pronoun. Obviously not Mary, because it would have been she at that point. Interjections are words that are used to express a sudden emotion or command and are always followed by an exclamation mark. In the sentence, bang, slam the window under the influence of the high winds. The word bang expresses a sudden emotion and is followed by an exclamation mark. It is therefore being used as an interjection. Now listen to this sentence and identify one example of as many parts of speech as are found in the sentence. Here's a clue. There are seven, there are seven different parts of speech in this sentence. Here we go. Get your pencil and your paper. Trees are never empty because they spread through many different seasons. I'll repeat it. Trees are never empty because they spread through many different seasons. That's the end of our first lesson in English. How long was that?